Welcome to my math channel to watch some videos on how to simplify imaginary number i. So what I have is i to the 67th power and if I want to simplify that it's like man how am I going to simplify that or how could I even simplify that? Well there's a couple things we've learned about with our imaginary numbers. We learned that i we have represent um, square root of negative 1 because we don't have a number for the real, real number system for, for that. So we give it i, which it denotes as your imaginary. Then when we squared both sides, we end up getting understanding i squared equaled negative 1. Then when we kept on multiplying by i, we got i cubed equals um, negative i. And then i to the fourth equals positive 1. And what we notice is when we kept on multiplying by i, this actually repeated. And so what we notice is there's four distinct values for our i. But after that, it keeps on repeating. So what I want to do is I'm going to divide by my exponent by 4. Whatever my remainder is, 1, 2, or 3, is going to be the value of i. If I do not have a remainder, that means that it um, divides into there evenly. And my value of uh, i is going to simply be 1. So what I'll do is I'm going to do 67 divided by i. And what I want to do is I say, well, you know, 4 goes into 40 10 times. And then there's going to remainder, be a remainder of 26. So I could say 4. Then it could go in there uh, 6 more. 6 more times would be 24. So if I did 6 times 24, I'm sorry, times 16, 16 times. So if I did 6 times 16, what I get is 6 times 6. Um, 6, 96. What do I think? Oh, that's 16, 14. I was like, well, that doesn't make sense. 6 times 14 is going to be 4, 20, 6. So, fuck you. 